Okay, first of all, I will have to start with this lecture note. Uh, if you uh, can remember, we have uh, six files for lecture notes, and this one is the, the number fourth. <clears throat> and today I will start with the, what we call the application of curve modeling, that is a surface modeling. And surface modeling is very important in computer graphics and CAD, computer aided design, right? Because um, normally when you use um, in the application, for example, if you want to design aircraft or automobile modeling, you have to decide in terms of, not in terms of the curves, but you have to decide in terms of the surface. That's why we call this topic, surface modeling. And in chapter four, right? This is chapter four. I will start from the, the model, the model of the surface, right? If you want to design a surface that it can be considered as a vector where you function of two parameters. Come back to the curve, right? Um, it is the vector value function of one parameters, one parameter t. But for surface, that it is the vector value functions of two parameters u and v, right? So at, it can map a region d of the uv plane into the Euclidean space of the three-dimensional space, right? Or it can be written in terms of the S U V, right? U V uh, will stand for U is from zero to one and V is from zero to one as well, right? And because it is a surface that like it can be divided in terms of X, Y, and Z coordinate, right? So we can have for the, for the, equation, uh, the surface equation S U V, it can be extended right, as it named the vector value function. So it can be extended into X, Y, and Z, right? According to the parameters U and V, where U and V are the, uh, the, the, the coordinate or the pair of U and V is a uh, three-dimensional Euclidean space. In order to make it easier to understand, right? Um, we have to start from the simplest surface, right? So I have to go back to, okay, I've just uh, upload the, 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 a book by Farin, right? The name is the Curve and Surface in CATD, right? So I will stop share this and then I will go to Farin. Okay, chapter 14, right? Um, the topic that we are going to talk about um, is the we really call the tensor product patches. Uh, we can we can use the two terminologies patch and surface interchangeably, right? And um, as it name, right, it is a product, right? It is a um, product. Sometimes you can call tensor product, or you can uh, think about it as like um, multiplication, right? So um, we will start with the bilinear interpolation. So it is uh, the, the simplest one, right? Um, we have said, we have, I have just said that um, the, okay, the theory of tensor product Bayesian surface, right? Uh, the simplest one can be divided in the concept of the bilinear interpolation. What does it mean by linear interpolation? So in the by, by linear interpolation, so we are talking about the uh, Bernstein polynomial with the degree one, with the degree one, right? So it can be divided in terms of, okay, uh, in order to make it bit, uh, easier to, no, um, for the curve, right? If you could remember, we have just only one summation, but for the, surface right it can be written in terms of okay let me start from the picture it would be easier for the simplest surface right it can be divided by four contour points in this term right, because it is look it looked like the net do you do you know the net right it's look like the net so instead of using or calling it as a control point i 
I sometimes call it control net. So in this way, you can see that this figure is represented by four control points or control nets, right? B0, 0, B1, 0, B0, 1, and B11. These are the, the way to define the control points or the control nets along U and V direction. If you can see that U is the first um, subscription and V is the second subscription, so in this direction, right, you can see that B, uh, okay, we can see for U direction, right, we have V, uh, B, U, 0, 0, right, but 0, the first 0 is uh, in U direction. So we, when we come along with this line, right, so we will go in, in the U direction. So U is from 0 to 1, so B, 0, 0 here will represent this point, and the last end point here will be B, one zero. Why this B one zero? Because the first subscript is a U direction. So this is from zero to one in U direction. Do you get the point? If you don't understand, if you want me to, to explain it again, you can tell me. Okay, you understand? Yes. Okay. Can you repeat it again? Okay, this is the way that we are going to define the topology. Topology, do you know this word, right? The topology of the, the control net. This is the simplest one, right? When we want to define a surface, right? The simplest surface is a plane. Do you know the plane? Run up. Okay, the plane is a, uh, is a simplest one. But if you have one, two, three, four, Will, this, this will represent the corner of the surface and the surface can be defined as B0, 0, B1, 0, B0, 1, and B1, 1. Okay? For curve, right, you define it as B0, B1, B2, B3, right? But for the bilinear interpolation, linear means we have just only, linear means one, right? So we have the, highest degree of this surface is one. And what I'm trying to say is that it's just very simple, right? We have three, oh, sorry, we have four corner points. This one will define zero, 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 one. And this one will be one, zero, and this is one, one. Because this one will go along with you. We thought you can think about the curve, right? This is a straight line. Straight line is a simplest curve, right? So if you go to this direction, if you um, hide the second subscript here, you just think about the first subscript. Because the first subscript will represent you and the second subscript will represent V. So in this direction, if you want to transform or the transition from B0, 0 to here, right? You can get this line, right? This means that the first here, the first point here will be B0, 1, uh, 0, 0. And to this direction, it will be B1, 0. Similarly to the V direction, right? Because V is a second subscript, so B0, 0 will go to B0, 1, B0, 1. So the point, okay, this will represent the point. This, this surface can map to the rectangular. No, it's just a square, right? Square, right? In the U and V direction. If you want to specify a point here, which is the U and V, right, the UV, it will map to from this UV, right, U from 0 to 1 and V from 0 to 1. This will map from here, this point, to this one. So when you substitute U by a value and V by another value, you can get a point on the curve, or oh, sorry, a point on the surface or the patch, right? You do this along this one or this domain, you can get all the points on the surface. 
it's not necessary to be the plane, right? It can be the, like we call the surface. This is a special kind of surface that's called bilinear interpolation. Okay, so in this way, you can uh, map into, or you can represent it as a, this is a function, uh, this equation, right? X, S, V, actually it's not X, as X name, uh, X axis, it is a surface X, right? With the parameter U and V is equal to one minus two U, U multiplied by this one. B zero zero B one zero, right? So when you multiply this one minus U B zero zero and U plus U B one zero plus B one zero, so it will be this the curve along this way, along the U direction. After that, you can get to two values here and two values here will multiply by one minus V and V. Do you remember what does it mean by one minus U and U multiplied by this, uh, these two points? It is a linear interpolation, right? That's why we call this surface as a bilinear interpolation. It means that we uh, perform the linear interpolation in two directions, U and V. Okay, do you understand? Sometimes, um, I'm not sure whether you study, you have studied the calculus one or two, two, right? Maybe you could remember the hyperbolic paraboloid, paraboloid of one sheet, hyperboloid. Can you remember when you study calculus two? This one is a kind of the hyperbolic paraboloid. Right, and sometimes you can call this kind of the surface as a root, root surface, root of root surface. It's like when you have the surface is like when you have a piece of paper and then you try to uh, to fold it. You can see the surface in this way. Do you get my point? It looks like a piece of paper and then you fold it, right? Or uh, the piece of paper can be um, like a plane, but when you fold it away uh, in some direction or, or you just um, pick this point and pick this point. So do, then you can have the, not the, the planar surface. It is not a planar surface. It will be the loose surface or hyperbolic paraboloid. Okay, so when you want to represent this one, the bilinear interpolation, you can use Mathematica in order to form this one. This one, B0, 0, B0, 1, B1, 0, and B1, 1, will represent the corner point, four corner points of this bilinear interpolation, bilinear surface. And in this way, you can uh, write it in terms of the Dirk-Hasso-Jo algorithm, if you, if you could remember. Right, this one can be obtained the final result as a B11, B00. This one is a the Kasecho algorithm form, right? It can be represented by one minus U, this plus U, this one. And then, okay, if you want to get the more complicated surf, uh, basic surface, you can do like this. This one is, um, okay, B, R, R, I, J, right? One minus U, U, and this one will be the square matrix of the, the points along the, the surface, right? This one, it look like this. This will be like the linear interpolation. Suppose you have, this one is a cubic, right? We have, in each direction, we will have four control points four control points, right? And uh, considering this part, right? Is the Kasecho algorithm is just exactly the same as the curve, but the curve, right, you can interpolate 
two, two points or one line. But for the surface to internet, one, two, three, four, you will get this point. And in order to get this point, you can interpret one, two, three, four, four point at a time. And this one, if you want to get this point, you will interpret this point one, two, three, four. So you will reduce the point from one, two, three, four points into three points. You can do the same thing, right? In V direction, right? You can get three points as well. And then it, it, it's not yet the, the, the only one point, right? So you have to interpret this one again. So you can get, when you interpret this, 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 this four points again, you will get this point. Interpret this point, this point is behind, behind this surface and this one and this one, four points, you can get this one. Okay, and the last one, right, you can have reduce three points, you can get two points. And this one this is the last, right? This is a mapping from UV, right? So you can see you, you is just this amount of space and then V is amount of this, right? And this one will be U, U, right? And this one will be V, right? So the point of the interpolation will be um, corresponding to the points here, right? Mapping U, V, right? U can be, or in this way, U is about 0 0.3. This one will be 0 0.7, okay? So when mapped to this, it will be like a ratio, 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 as well. So we have to recursively mapping the points so until you can get B, 3, T, 0, 0. We'll, it, this will be the point, the point calculated on the surface. So this is the way that the tensor product patch uh, is calculated. Is calculated. Okay, the easiest one is um, you can try this. Okay, if I uh, give you the quadratic, quadratic basic surface like this, right? We have one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Points. So we can have all our nine points here. And if you want to use the, the Hassel Chow algorithm, right? You can interpolate. Okay, you can use one, two, uh, UV and UV, right? You can interpret this, right? You can you can interpret this, 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 this four points. Okay, this four points using this one, this. This equation. Or oh, actually it is um for the recursion, right? This 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 uh, equation is actually the the final equation of com of com of the Bayesian curve away Bayesian surface computation. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just try to, uh, to see how can we derive this, okay? Do you want to know how to get this? Okay, in order to make that, maybe I will use, um, use what? Use Excel, <laughs> I forget the name. Okay, in, I, in order to do this, I have to, New share. Can can you see my Excel? Can you see my Excel? Okay, right. So I will start from the zero 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 two. To silo, silo, okay, and then because we need to interpolate four points at a time, silo, silo, silo to silo, and then two to silo. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I will make it shorter because I want to to make it easier to understand. Okay, maybe I will use this one. Okay, in order to make it. Okay. Okay. So first of all, I would like to, to map. Okay, before I will go further, do you understand what I'm going to, to do, right? I'm, I'm going to interpolate, right? One minus two something, one minus T, uh, B1 plus uh, T, B2, something like that, right? So in this way, we are, we are going to interpolate this point and this point. Okay, so we will get this point. In order to do that, maybe we will have to fix insert. Okay, have U and V, right? U, U and V. Okay, U is zero point five, and V is zero point five as well. Okay, you want to fix this? Okay. U is V okay, is equal to this. Okay, I want to interpolate this one and this one to here. To here. Okay, what I'm going to do is what is the equation? So we are going to interpolate four point four point at a time, right? To this so this one will be one min one minus u. So I have to fix this. Multiply that by B0, 0, B0, 0, 0 will be this, okay? And plus this one will do again. And then multiply that by B1, 0. This is B one zero. Okay, so it's not yet complete. So this will be just the new The new value here that will multiply by one minus u or uh, one minus v, sorry. 
multiply by one, one minus V. And plus this one multiply by this this one. Right. It will be similar. Now A three will be B3 and A6 will be B6. And this one will multiply by V. Multiply by V, V is B, okay. So it's correct. I think I cannot use, okay. I cannot use square bracket. I to change it to parentheses. Okay, we can get what? And then I just simply copy the same thing. One, okay. So we have to say, we have to see that, is it correct? I don't know. One, one, zero. Okay, now? Why, why is it one, one? <laughs> one, one, zero, point five. Oh, this one is two two zero two two. Wait, this one is zero. Okay, so we can get this one. Okay, when I do the same thing, I just simply copy this one. It will be interpolate. Hmm. Because we have four zero zero. Four two two. Okay, three one zero by five, three one zero by five. And then just simply copy this to this. Okay, who? 
okay because we don't we still don't have this one we have to input zero four zero two four four and four 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 and then okay repeat it again copy this to this so i can get one three one and then copy again three three two point five two three two point five okay this is a way we will interpolate okay so now we want to get the the final value so i will copy this to this so and get oh my god why Oh, okay, because this we map to one, two, three, four. Okay, this one maybe I have to move this to another column, you know, to make it possible to map. Okay, we we'll get this two, two, one, this one. So when I change this one, okay, 0 0.5 or uh, 0 0.2. So the point corresponding, this one will be the point on the Bayesian curve or Bayesian surface, right? According to you, is 0 0.2 and V is 0 0.5. Okay. Okay. You can get 2, 2, 1. I will give you this one is uh, the castle joke. The castle joke for surface. Okay. okay, and I will let you see this one. Uh, how we come to the third row and the third column again? Which row? This row or this row? This row. Uh, the, the third row. For, uh, about four, zero, zero, four, two, four, two. Zero, yeah. zero. Okay. Um, four, zero, zero is like this here. Okay. Uh, I uh, I I use this um uh, I use this topology in order to form this um this one in the Excel file. And then I, I, I use this one. I use this. First of all, you have to multiply this matrix to this matrix first, and then you can get two columns. And then two columns, you have to multiply this and this again. So, and this will come up to, to my equation here, right? I use dollar sign B, dollar sign one in order to fix this value, right? Because UV is fixed, but um, this point, you see? This point, this point, this point and this point will be flexible. Okay, we will be variable. When you move to this, okay, this will interpolate this one and this one. X coordinate of one, two, three, four points here. Okay. Similarly, this one will be the same thing, right? Y direction. Okay, can you get the point? Yes, okay. Okay, and then 
this is why I, I copy this and then when I copy this and then press to here, um, this one will be the interpolation of this one. Oh, no, not this one, this one. This one, four points. Okay. And why? I have to shift one or two more columns because I want to, uh, okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, right? This one will be one, two, three, four as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, come. How about me? Do you get my point? Yes. Uh, good, good job. Okay, so this is um one just one way to calculate the point on the Bayesian curve or Bayesian surface, right? And we can use the Cartesian algorithm, which is a recursive algorithm, to compute the point on the surface. So it's very simple. It's just to um, apply the curve in two direction, that's all. Okay, we, we come up with this one. Okay, and then we have another formula. Okay, this one will be by cubic path. The, this one will be by quadratic path. Why quadratic? Because we have one, two, three, right? Three, order three, degree two. Order three degree two, right? So it is a bi quadratic patch. And then if we extend one more point, right, like this one, two, three, four, order four degree three. So it will be bi cubic patch. Okay, this you can see it is a control net, right? That I have told you, right? This is a control net or control point of this surface and the the gray one will be the surface according to the control nets above, right? And once again, the, the surface will lie inside the convex hull of the control nets. Okay, this is a very uh, elegant property of the Bayesian or the Burnside polynomial and Bayesian surface, right? So if you want to, to derive that, you can simply use the Cartesian algorithm as well. And because it is a base here, right? So you can define it in terms of the summation to summation and to Bernstein polynomial. And for the, the, the control point, it can be defined by B. Instead of BI, we can define it as BIJ. So we come up with the the general form of the Bayesian surfaces, right? That is BMN. MN means the number of degree in U and V direction. Normally, if they are equal, it will be N or uh, M and M. Okay, but this is a general form, right? That M and N could not be uh, the same, the same number, right? It will be a general form, right? UV and it will be summation i from zero to m and summation j from zero to n, right? And this one will multiply by b i j is a topology. The it is a Bayesian control point, right? Control net, right? Multiply by b m i u multiply by b n i v, right? These two function is a Bernstein polynomial similar to the Bernstein polynomial for the curve, right? But this one is split into U and V, U and V, okay? So do you understand this one? Okay, before we will try to uh, use the Mathematica program in order to represent this one. In order to, uh, to calculate for the points along the surface, right? I will uh, show you about the properties of the Bayesian surface, right? 
Okay, the first one is a fin invariance, right? The Dedekler Castro algorithm consists of repeated bilinear and possibly subsequently repeated linear interpolation. Okay, that's one. And we can say that it is a bi barycentric coordination combination. So we can have the summation of summation of two Bernstein polynomial will be equal will be equal to one equal to one. So we can say that it is affine combination or affine invariance uh, for this property, right? Summation is equal to one. And also, right, because you are in the, you and we are in the range of zero to one, right? And in the term of the Bernstein polynomial BMI and BNI, right? Because they are not negative value, they are non-negative. So we can say that this one will be the convex combination. Okay, once we can prove that the formula for the Bayesian Bayesian surface like this, like this, right? Once we have known that this one is a linear, com oh, sorry, convex combination, we can prove that it is also the convex Hall property. Okay, convex Hall's property, okay? What does it mean by convex Hall property? Convex Hall property is this figure, this figure, this figure. Okay, you can see that this one is a convex Hall, right, of the control net, right? And the surface will lie inside this net. It's under this net, for sure. It will not be outside of the net. It will be inside because of the Bernstein polynomial. And you will, like it's less than or equal to zero to one. Okay, zero to one, okay. And for this reason, like we can uh, find the scope or the boundary of the curve of the surface, right? We can be defined by the boundary curve of the patch, a polynomial curve as well. Okay, this one, this curve, this curve divided by this curve, it's also the polynomial curve right, as well. And exactly, this curve can be defined by this control point, this four control point. This four control point will generate the curve here, which is the boundary of this surface. And also in V direction, we can have one, two, three, four con control points, right? This one will identify the curve, which is the boundary in V direction. And this curve is also the polynomial curve again. So for the surface that we, uh, the, the boundary of the surface will be the curve, full curve, right? According to the, the frame of the control net, control net. Okay, this is uh, the third property. That is the boundary curve. Okay, I'm not going to, to make you confused, right? I, I believe this one, right? Variation diminishing property, right? You can you can try to understand it, but I, I'm not going to detail about this, right? So this one is not that um, important. Okay, so before we go to the derivation for the surface, right? I will let you to, to try to to represent this curve, right, in terms of Bernstein polynomial, this one, okay. You cannot use, I think you cannot use Excel, right? You have to use the Mathematica, okay? So please try.
ใครอยากโชว์สกิลการเขียนแบบอเมริกาบ้างถ้ากูบอกแบบนี้ก็ไม่มีใครโชว์ใช่ไหม